Hello, you are welcome here in my busy little shop. On today's episode of What's on My Workbench, I have a belt that I'm gonna be working on. A lady reached out to me, and this belt that I'm working on is totally amazing. This belt was purchased for her from her father. It's a belt that she had wanted while in the store, and her father had bought it for her and gave it to her as a gift later down the road. So this belt, it needs some work done on it to make it more usable. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the belt and the challenge that we have with us and how we're gonna overcome those challenges and make the belt usable today. I'm happy you're here in the shop with me. Hope you're having a great day. So you can see it's really a, uh, a unique belt. These are, uh, these conchos have real turquoise in them. Uh, these are handcrafted. And when they created the belt, they use this really thin leather. There's probably two ounce thick leather here. So it wasn't a very uh, substantial belt, that's for sure. But the work is, it's in the conchos. And uh, they are just really beautiful. The belt isn't long enough. And like I said before, the weight of the leather, it's really too thin. So what we're going to do is I'm going to remove the buckle here and we're going to line this belt much like I did uh, earlier this summer. There was a belt that I worked on that I lined. So I'm going to line it with uh, more substantial leather to make it a thickness that will work. And then in doing that, we will be gluing the leather to the back here and it will permanently put these conchos in spot. Uh, that was the other thing is they shift around when you're wearing it. So I'm going to space them out. I figured out two and a half inches between the conchos is going to be about right. And then the belt is not long enough. So I'm going to remove the buckle, cut this, and then I'm going to use another piece of black leather similar to the thickness of this, sew it together, extend the belt the length that I need, and then I'm going to uh, laminate this to a, a heavier piece of leather. And when I do that joint between the original black leather and a new piece of black leather, I'm gonna do it behind a concho so you will not see that joint anywhere on here. And then uh, I'm gonna lengthen the belt here as well. So I hope you enjoy following along as I work to make this uh, belt a little bit more usable. So the first step I need to do is to cut a strip of vegetable tan leather to the width uh, that matches this. And I'm gonna dye it black so that when we laminate it on the back, it's all black. And then I'll cut this and I'll cut me a piece of chrome tan leather that looks like this, cause that's what this is. And I'm gonna match that and we'll sew that on, extend it. So I'm gonna come back when I have some of the straps cut and dyed and show you the step-by-step -step process. It's really not a complicated process on this one, but I think the results will be uh, stunning. And I know that the owner is gonna be excited to get it back and be able to wear it again. All right, so I've got the uh, leather ready for the next step. So what I've got here is a piece of veg tan leather that's uh, nine, and nine ounce, maybe slightly more, of veg tan dyed to black. I've got another piece of chrome tan leather, black, that matches the other leather really pretty well. The hardest thing is I want the joint between the old leather and the new piece of leather to land behind a concho. So it took a little bit of figuring out the spacing and where a concho will be. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then cut the, the uh, old leather strap uh, and the new uh, chrome town leather strap. I'm gonna cut those with a half inch overlap and sew those together. Then once that's done, I can get the conchos arranged with the right spacing. This is the correct spacing of what's gonna be here when we're done. The, um, the conchos are pretty good size. They are, yeah, so uh, like two and seven eighths inch. So they're a pretty good size conchos. So that gives me an area to make the 
the patch between the old leather and the new leather that's the face of it. The vegetable tan leather here, it's really gonna be doing most of the work. Uh, it's really pretty tough stuff. It's, it's nine ounces thicker than most belts that you find that people say are a quality belt through a department store or something like that. I like to have a belt that's gonna be more in the 10 to 12 ounce range. So we'll end up here, we'll be about 11 ounce or 10 and a half ounces when we're done. This, this original leather was not very thick. Okay, so uh, like I said, we've got the leather prepared. So the next step is figuring out where to cut. And I have to say, I, I just cut that uh, buckle loose and I thought I was recording, I wasn't. So let me recap how I got to the next step. So on the le this leather strap here, the original leather, I spaced the conchos out to where we knew exactly the spacing that we're gonna use. And that places the center concho in the middle of the wearer's back. And then two and a half inches space between them. So the next thing I did was I marked out, uh, now that I know the spacing and it's nine inches center to center on that, then I went through and I marked from the center of the belt here, I marked in nine inch intervals on the veg tan leather so that I knew where the uh, conchos are gonna end up. And I need that because I want to split the old leather with the new leather behind a concho. So then I lined up the tail here with the, the end mark here on the veg tan leather so that I know what length I'm gonna have of the old leather. So then I, I made sure that I ended up, here's the mark where the concha is gonna be, and I cut the leather there, and then I cut a piece of replacement leather for the front there. And um, by the time you put a concho between them, I don't think most people are gonna notice there's a little bit of different color between those. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to uh, I'm gonna skive these down here so that it makes a smooth transition. I will use contact adhesive, sew this piece to get onto here. And then since it'll be hard to finish this other uh, strap once I get it hooked on here around the conchos, I'll go ahead and I'll round the edge, burnish it, and I'm gonna put a coat of resiline on the uh, face of the belt and the edge so that you don't get rub off on, on the clothes. So once I get that sealed and finished, get this sewn together, I'll come back and we'll be ready for uh, gluing these together. So I have uh, rounded the edge here. Use my Montana edger, rounded the edge. And I'm just using a little bit of water, mainly friction, to burnish the edge of the leather here. And all I'm using is water and a chunk of denim here. Once I get this burnished, I'll let the water dry out of the edge of it. And then I will um, I'll put a coat of resiline on it, get it sealed up nice. And we'll be ready to... Um, Get the concho slid into place and glue this in place. You can see a nice little shine there.
this was the solution that we discussed and came up with, and I, I think it's going to work really nicely. So I'll tie this off with a square knot on the back, and then uh, I've got the other strap has resoline on it, and we'll be ready here in a few minutes to laminate the two of them together. slide this over here and you'll see from one side to the other you can kind of tell but I mean you have to know there's something different there to see a difference with that behind there so I'm going to get all these shifted down and then we'll be ready to do the final gluing and assembly all right so we're ready for the next step here I've got the the leather lining for the belt uh, completed it's been uh, burnished on the edges. It's got resoline on it. It's all sealed up, ready to go. The uh, conchos are more or less placed where they're going to go. I can do some final adjustments once I get them glued. And then I will laminate these two pieces together. So the first step then is to get uh, contact adhesive on these strips. After both sides have the contact adhesive on and set up, then I'll come back when I laminate them two together. And it's going to take a little bit of work because the, normally the belt lays nice and flat on the counter as I'm working, but with those conchos, it's going to be raised up. So I'm installing the second coat of contact adhesive on the original belt back. Once I get this done and the contact adhesive sets up, then I'll laminate the two pieces together. The other option on this belt would have been to pry up these pieces of copper and put a thicker piece of leather through it that's the right length. And we didn't go that direction because we were a little bit concerned of, uh, you know, continuing to adjust that copper strap. Eventually it would probably fail and we were concerned that then you'd have to get it to a silversmith or somebody to to fix that you may have to remove the turquoise as well We're gonna let that set up and it'll tack up. I'll make the final adjustments on the conchos and we'll go from there. So it has contact adhesive on the back side of this strip. This is the lining leather that's gonna be on there. I'm gonna do my final adjustments on my spacing to make sure that it's right. And then, um, and then we'll laminate these two together.
All right, so I, I feel good about where we've got the conchos, the spacing. So I'm just gonna gently roll this over here. I'm going to make sure that they are turned parallel with the belt blank. Let me check one more time. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're looking pretty good here. So I'm going to now line these up and laminate them together. Looks like it's lined up good. It does. A little bit of patience here. Or a lot of patience, whichever it is. Contact adhesive on leather, I mean, once it touches, it's pretty well bonded. But when I burnish it together, it will really be bonded. So I'm kind of going a little bit light here behind each of these conchos. The idea is if I need to rotate them a little bit or shift them just slightly, I should be able to do that here until I burnish them together. I'm going to gently tap just between these. I'm just going to reach underneath here and burnish to get a, a good connection here between the layers. I'm just working my way gently down here, reaching up underneath the larger conchos and making sure these two layers of leather are well bonded.
Next, I'm gonna cut this tip here to match. So now we've got the two layers together here for the tip. I've got to make the uh, series of holes here. Here's the back. Look like they're pretty well bonded together here. So I was pushing pretty hard there. All right, well next I need to cut the slot for the buckle and make a couple of holes here for the buckle to attach. I always run the liner along, so I ran the liner along on this one. We'll cut it off here. So next, to put the uh, bag punch hole in here, I need to find the center, and I do that by creating two parallel lines. And I'm going to use a Chicago screw to attach it. All right, so we're we're getting there. The buckle goes like that.
We're just about done. Got one more thing I need to do. brand on there. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed following along. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see what's next on the workbench. I hope you have a great day.